The reality that, that many people, I think, are unaware of is that the guarantees they have from existing systems, existing financial systems, computing systems, social media systems, is that they, they think that they guarantee them something. They guarantee them access to their data. They guarantee them access to their money. They guarantee them access to certain communication relationships through messaging. And the reality is that those guarantees don't exist because a person can always turn them off. In this sense, when you have a password to a bank account, it's actually very probabilistic. It's not guaranteed to you in any really firm way because what it's actually based on is a group of people deciding whether or not your password actually gives you access to your bank account. Great examples of this are things like Silicon Valley Bank, the various failures of the 2008 financial crisis, and others. Basically, people believe they have a guarantee because an institution with a brand promises them that guarantee. But the guarantee really is not there. That's the fundamental misunderstanding that I think our industry seeks to solve. Conversely, in our industry, there are deterministic guarantees, which means that there's a mathematical proof that makes sure that as long as mathematics and encryption functions a certain way, you're going to have the ability to do what you expect it to do. So for example, when you have a private key, it doesn't in my mind really matter so much whether that private key is connected to a Bitcoin or a stable coin or some other coin. What's exciting to me is that that private key has a deterministic relationship with that thing, with that asset, which means that if you sign a transaction and you send it, no one person can stop that or no group of people can stop you. Basically, you have direct mathematical control and guarantees that this transaction will work as intended and as you expected. That's a very big difference from the world of, I hope my transactions or my data or my messaging or my phone calls or whatever I have works because people decide to allow it to work. That world, I think, is going away, and you see that in many, many ways. You see it with things like WhatsApp having end-to-end -end encrypted at the top of each message history. Why did something like that happen? It happened because people had a crisis of faith, because they were sending messages to each other, and they were assuming that it was okay, and then the telecommunications companies were hacked, and the social media companies misused people's private data, and there was a crisis of faith. And that crisis of faith was resolved by applying encryption to technologies, namely end-to-end -end encrypted on messages between peers through, through some kind of messaging system. And I think now everyone understands what end-to-end -end encrypted is, and there's different versions of end-to-end -end encrypted. You know, Signal Messenger is the best, and then there's other versions that are, are not as, as good. But everyone, if they can, prefers an end-to-end -end encrypted guaranteed message. I think that's kind of where the rest of the world really is going. It's going to the place where if you have an application with the same features, cost, speed as a traditional Web2 application, but this new application has the ability to deterministically, mathematically guarantee your outcomes, that's a far superior application. That's what a Web3 application is. That's what a DAP is. That's what a smart contract is. And so that's really what this industry is about. It's not about just tokenization. To say this industry is about tokenization is to say that the internet is just about email. And at a certain point in time, the internet was just about email, and the internet looked like it was going to be a really big problem for the United States Postal Service. And people thought that maybe that's where it would stop. But the internet is about information technology. And what this is about is about trust and value technology. And trust and value is much more ubiquitous than just tokenization. It's really all digital relationships that can be made highly reliable, that can be made deterministic. And so a deterministic society is one where you don't have to rely on individuals or groups of people to honor their agreements or honor your ability to access your money or honor your ability to interact or store or have your data in the way that you expect it. It's just mathematically guaranteed to you. It's guaranteed by encryption. It's guaranteed by smart contracts. It's guaranteed by Oracle networks. It's deterministically mathematically guaranteed, and that can be proven to you. This uh, you know, concept of a deterministic society is really what I think most of the people are fundamentally working towards in our industry, just in various ways and in various subset 
of subsets of transactions and digital relationships. But I think it's fundamentally what all of this is really about.